Hey there! Today we're gonna be talking about the hot water heater expansion tank. This expansion tank is often overlooked. So let me tell you what it is, how we service, and in worst case, let's talk about the replacement of a tank. Some of you may be wondering, what is this thing? So this, it's a safety mechanism for the plumbing system on your house. Usually it's located very close to the hot water tank. The way this expansion tank works is pretty simple. It acts as a reservoir for any pressure created from the hot water tank by warming the water. And for that matter, you should pay close attention to any signs that the tank is not working. One of them, and the first sign you're gonna see of a tank starting to fail, is drips from the relief valve. Another quick check that you can do on your tank to make sure it's working properly is tapping with a screwdriver. You know that half of the tank should be pressurized air and you should hear something like this. If you hear something like this, that means the water filled the whole tank and now we should do a proper service. And to service the tank, you're gonna need a water gauge and a tire pressure gauge. Take your water pressure gauge and you go outside and you measure the water pressure of your home. Most homes are gonna have a pressure between 30 and 70 PSI. Once you know the pressure of your home, you need to match that pressure with the pressure on your tank. But before you do so, you need to isolate the pressure on the tank. So let's shut off the water to the hot water tank and relieve some of the pressure in the tank. Now you're ready to take the pressure reading from your tank. You remove the protective cap from the end of the tank and with the tire pressure gauge, you take reading off the tank. Okay, at this point, you calibrate the pressure on the tank just like you would for a tire in a car. You can use one of these pumps, or if you don't have one, a regular bike pump would do just fine. I would recommend you check every other month to make sure the pressure stay consistent in the tank and that it doesn't lose over time. In our case, hearing water in the tank while we tap with a screwdriver and having no pressure is a clear indicator we need to swap this with a new one. The tank swap is pretty simple. With an adjustable wrench, you break the tank loose and then with both hands, you start to undo the tank, removing it. One thing to note here, if this tank is full of water like we expect, this tank should be pretty heavy, as heavy as a bucket full of water. So make sure you have a good grip on it. Next step, is you take the new tank and you calibrate the new tank to match the pressure of your home. Our case, we wanna calibrate this to 60 PSI. Once the tank is calibrated, we take some blue monster tape and we apply it to the threaded end of the tank. And after that, we always apply threaded sealant on top of the tape. Then we move on to installing the tank back on with threaded by hands and we finalize it with an adjustable wrench. I do one last sanity check with a tire pressure gauge, checking to make sure we are close to the house pressure. In this case, we got 58 PSI reading. Then we turn the water on and we check for leaks. One thing for sure is that you should replace the tank of one that's equal size. In our case, it was a 2.1 gallon tank. You can find it right here in the description. If you're not sure which one you should replace with, check your hot water tank instructions. And lastly, if you don't have one, I super recommend getting one installed. And if you wanna tackle that project next, check out the next video on how to install one and make sure it's properly secured. I hope you enjoyed something in this video and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.